and kind of uh, beginning to realize that the, the DAO is like a possible way to work, like an alternative new way to work. Because previously I come from like the typical nine to six in the office kind of setting. And then, you know, uh, you know, we have to work like 20 days a month. We have to clock our hours, you know, we have to clock our daily productivity. And um, I don't know, I don't really like my previous workplace because it, there's a lot of micromanaging and bosses expecting us to, uh, you know, hit our hourly productivity and they will like really breathe down my neck uh, every few hours they'll pull out the data and say hey look you are only doing this number of cases you have to speed up so i mean comparing that to to dow life which i've been hanging out a, a lot more these few months i just feel like uh things are kind of refreshing and a lot more liberating here and uh, it's kind of given me the space and uh, time to actually take care of things at home and to take up other interests that I have. So I'm really grateful to and uh, looking forward to have more uh, time in the, in the, in the DAO and, and kind of really enjoying my work here, even though it's, it's really crazy. Like some days we start at like 8 or 9 a.m. and and we end at past like midnight at 1, 2 a.m. So these are really long, but I feel uh, like I feel somewhat more liberated. <laughs> nice. Yep. And I think uh, pop over to Jaybird. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, my name is Jaybird. Um, so let's see. Uh, well, I mean, I'm here to basically just achieve collective goals with like-minded people who share my passion. And I'm seeking to gain experience, learn as much as I possibly can from those who are more knowledgeable than me, and share my experience or expertise when it's beneficial for others. Super, super tired of corporate jobs. They super suck. I'm trying to move away from that as much as possible. So, yeah, that's why I'm here. So I've been helping out with first quests and dilations for a couple months, and I'm looking to become more involved and match up that L1 status. So I'll pass it on over to Mark Law Zero One. Hi, I just joined the call. <laughs> Welcome uh, to the guest pass vibe check, Mark. Share with us who you are. Anything that's inspired you or struggles that you've had, and then pop it over to the next person. Okay, I'm Mark Lawrence. I'm working on a NFT release where you buy an NFT and you get five carbon credits. And this particular NFT is actually an avatar. So when you mint the NFT, you can customize the avatar by selecting attributes. And then that avatar, you can actually navigate through a um, forest-themed metaverse. But again, when you buy the NFT, you actually get digital and virtual rights, one hectare of forestry. And that can be used for gaming, metaverse applications. And it also includes, in real life, um, carbon offsets as well. So we're working out of... Bank plus Africa. And what was the other point? What inspired me? I'm, I just like the concept of DAOs compared to regular corporations. And so interested, excited to be part of the team. So I'm not sure who's next on the list, Ernest. Oh, we'll just pop it up to Eric. Or we can pop it over to Metaverse. Oh, am I back? Uh, can we pop it over to Metaverse?
be honest. Can you do it? I think my device is not ready. Okay, I thought All there right. was something wrong with my audio. You want to go ahead, more? <laughs> no problem, no problem. Cheers, oh, man. thank you. <laughs> so... First of all, much love to you all. Much love to you all guys, man. You're amazing. You're an amazing bunch of people. And that's good, good for the introduction. I think you're like more brother in this space. The DAO is the future. So Mot, Mot is like more here to know more, to be more, and to do more. So that's why I'm here to learn and learn, then learn again as the cycle continues. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you all guys, man. And it's much welcome. Thank you. All right. Can we pop it over to Mr. M? Oh, yep. Yeah. Um, Mr. M, that's just a letter M. Um, so I coordinate. I'm working on my coordinate right now. So <laughs> I'm in the middle of that. Other than that, it's a, it's a beautiful working space. And in future, yeah, I would love to do Devil full time. Boom. What's the next one? We uh, oh my god. Uh, oh shoot. We can pop uh, it over to K Sarah Sarah and then we can pop it over to Thalia. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm K Sarah Sarah. Uh, I'm totally new to this bankless style. Uh, basically I'm here because um I got really influenced by the hype that uh, Arturas and Angie TS has been emitting. So I'm here to learn a bit more. And I think from everyone sharing, I've really absorbed a lot of information. So uh, look, looking forward to uh, be able to share and also contribute and also to learn. Awesome. Thank you so much. Dahlia? Good to have you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, so I joined the DAO because like, I think I was just fascinated about this new concept of like the future of work and how you know there's a different way of doing things. And I mean, I've been here for a couple of weeks and it's been really exciting. I mean, I've learned a lot and definitely like just here to learn like way more um, yeah, and, 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 you know, it's just been, like, such an exciting community. Like, so much is happening. I think at a point I was very overwhelmed, but I kind of just took a couple of steps back, and now I'm kind of like, okay, you know, not drowning as much. But, yeah, it's nice to meet everyone. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a good description. <laughs> Thank you so much, too. It's been uh, exciting working with you in Bankless Africa. Top fly. Would you care to go next? Or we can kick it to We Love Poap. Hey, um, I have a little. Is this like an introduction or? Yeah, it's yeah. Just, yeah, just a quick check in. You can introduce yourself. You can share something that's inspired you or something that you've struggled with. Um, and um, then, yeah, after White Hat, then it looks like we can probably open it up to, you know, just open discussions. Yeah, right now I'm trying to use how to use a Blender. Because I want to make some NFTs or animated things. But I'm really busy and I saw that... Um, there was a call here, so I thought I would join. I used to join a lot of calls, but then I got really busy. So I thought I would join back again. Is there anything else you want to know? No, that's great. Um, we can pop it over to White Hat. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, just want to say, uh, uh, the, 
the journey in backlash is it's pretty good. Um, so just like many of you, I'm also learning, learning every day from everyone. So um, so I thank everyone for for sharing the knowledge, ideas, and uh, I get to um, enrich my knowledge every day from from the conversation I'm having with all the peoples around in in Bankless, a great community and great way to networking as well. So thanks for the opportunity, everyone. I'll hand it over to um, Ernest. Maybe thanks. Sure. Is there any? We do have a couple new people in here. We're just um, doing a quick check in, and then we're gonna open it up for discussions and questions. Um, mm. Bingao, Eric Han, Metaverse Pro. Um, I cannot read the. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Asturias may be able to read it at the end. Uh, but feel free to. We'll just give a couple minutes for anybody that might want to give a lot introduction. Hello, uh, Liu Hao. Liu Hao Ran. Hello. Are you here? Hao Ran, you're there, ma? Well, I, I tried, but I don't think the person is listening. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm always hopeful. You know, one thing I think about, like, POAP farmers and stuff, like, they have their own onboarding into crypto, right? They have their own experience. And, you know, from what I gather, oftentimes they're not English speakers. So you just never know. <laughs> I, I, can I say something? <laughs> you sure, poop. we can we can <laughs> open it up. Open floor. Yeah, because I forgot what I wanted to say because this guy is laughing. Um, <laughs> yeah, just uh, you can see the my name that I I love Pope. Um, there are a lot of farmers, and Pope is working on something right now to prevent that. And yes, I forgot what, what I wanted to say. That's cool. Uh, what are you working on exactly to prevent that? No, I'm not uh, working on something. The The team of Pope is... is... Oh, okay, and, uh, I got you. Are you um, affiliated Pope with him at all? No, but I've applied for, for a job. I hear you. Yeah, I've also Damn. went to... A uh, real event uh, about Pope, and it was their first event, and like that was so amazing. Like so many NFT projects, even the owner of Mechaverse, and like you get to know so many people in such a small place, just by doing a real event. And that's when I started my my journey. Nice, cool. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah. So, what are you working on? Are you asking me specifically? Yes. Oh, uh, me? I'm working with Dalations and First Quest. Um, so other th other than those two, I'm just trying to find a good spot for my particular skill set to plug in. Um, I've been here for about maybe a month and a half or so, just kind of lurking around the edges, trying to find a spot to plug in. And Vibe Check is a perfect sp spot for me to hop in and you know talk to all the other guest passers, see what they're up to. Mm. Yes. Um, nice. I also know that Ernest plays uh, Decentraland, right? For real? I oh, do yeah. like testing Decentraland, for sure. Yes, and no, I know singing. that in um, the past um, calls or uh, on the roadmap that uh, says Metaverse. So I wanted to know, like, what are the updates on that? or? Is Bankless going to get into Decentraland or? Uh, well, um, so one, so one of the, so like one of the things, hey, right? Like a lot of gamers. Is so famous now. So yeah, like a, so it is. is. It's getting more popular each day. Every. And every the thing month. is that I have a couple of POAPs, but I don't know what a POAP is and how this thing works. It's it's a proof of attendance. How many oh, yeah. you see uh, that, Mr. M? Oh, 
Uh, when I said couple, I may have exaggerated. I, I just have two. You have two pull-ups? <laughs> and I may get one today, so I may have exaggerated. That's good, man. It's that. better to have one That's than good. nothing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I don't know how to use it. I mean, uh, what's the purpose? I know uh, you get it as like a token of attendance. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I'm working the utility you... about of it. Do you know keeping pull-ups is a heresy? You should not keep pull-ups. <laughs> Why do you say that? No, uh, uh, what is the purpose of holding a pull-up? So yeah, they're like proof of participation. Team. So if I go to your pull-up profile and I take a look and see that oh, you've been. To this meeting, that meeting, and that meeting, and this meeting, it just lets me know how involved you are and what you've been up to. Oh, okay. Uh, other than that, can you sell this pop apps? I don't yeah, believe yeah. there's a functionality for that yet. The There'd be no reason to. But it also gives you why you're anonymity as well. And people get to ha see which wallet you have used. So it's also used for data collecting. Yeah, Very it's, dangerous. It's like a bookmark in your life. Like you attend an event, you get a pope, you get rewarded with pope because you attended the event. And then the owners who or the hosts who give the pope, they can do raffles or maybe like the people who have every pope, they can enter a giveaway or get more. Um, I don't know. Like they're creating a whole ecosystem around that. Yeah, they're creating a whole ecosystem. And I was wondering whether there is an economic value of that. That. Yes, because um, people like um, there are a lot of people who like to collect, and they are the ones creating the value because they want it. They create demand, and many events like uh, or brands they give out popes, and some are like fifty or one hundred, some one thousand. So there are not so many that are being minted, and some people like it and they want it, so they they want to buy it. Okay, so there is an there is a value. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah. Uh Jerberg, did you um finish your coordinate application? I uh, sure did. It only takes about like maybe two or three minutes or so. Um did you get it wrapped um, up? Yeah, I've, I've, I've completed, I've, I've submitted it, but when I opened my coordinate uh, login page, it's saying that uh, I'm not added to the group, not added to the circle. Did you check it in coordinate login? Which? So have you went to coordinate.com and created like a profile and connected your wallet? Yeah, I've created it like today. I've submitted the application yesterday. Huh. Well, as long as you sign up, you know, make the coordinate account, then connect your wallet, the a request should go through. I'm not too sure about that. Might want to reach out to somebody a little bit more knowledgeable than me for that one. Mm -hmm. Something let, me, that... let me check it once more. Which one are you? Yeah, checking? it's saying the wallet isn't associated with the circle. Which, which, uh, click on your profile. Uh huh. And if, if an, a coordinate is active, it'll be in red. So currently, the Education Guild is the first one to do theirs. The Guest Pass coordinate should get uploaded today, I think. Um, oh, okay, so it's not uploaded yet. Yeah, they have to collect everybody's name, then they have to close oh. close the window, and then import everybody. And once they import everybody, the epic. Yeah. When you I, I don't know whether I've uh, whether I've say, submitted it or not. Yeah. So we can do it twice, right? We can submit it twice, right? They will only take one. Correct. But okay. So. And some coordinates are still open for submission from guilds. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, writers guild have a coordinate, right? Damn it. Um, Ernest. Yes. Uh, I may have to check that. Ernest, are you? I see that um, you need a landowner. Essentially, I got a. I need a landowner, and then I. I just need to learn how to manage those permissions to be able to, you know, build in DCL. Yeah, um, I know people with land. It depends on um, how many plots you want. I have um, a builder too. So if you need anything, like I can, I can definitely help out with that. All right, you can make a note of that. And also in Blender, do you know how to inflate a two D image to to be a three D image in Blender? Um, I. I'm still learning Blender, but I know someone who's really good, and he would be able to answer that question. I've so seen what was the question? I've seen a tutorial of it on YouTube. Um, it looks kind of easy, but essentially you just take a 2D image, and yeah. Blender can inflate. Yeah, you yeah you can make 3D out of it. Yep, and it becomes 3D, and then you you can separate essentially you know like the legs and arms you know yeah. if it's whatever <laughs> so what what is that that you want to 2d and 3d my dow punk your dow punk yeah maybe if uh, that'd it, be cool it'd yeah, be if you super send me cool the file. do what it, it maybe it, yeah it, yeah there's the the they use 3d images but because but they didn't provide 3D files with the Dow Punks. So I'm hoping, like, it would be really cool if you can inflate your Dow Punk and then you, the arms and legs all become movable and the head and everything. And then you have a 3D file so that you could actually bring it into Decentral, not Decentraland, but, you know, some metaverses. Like, you mean the whole, the whole character or? Yeah, you could bring it into, like, Unreal Engine and then... <laughs> you, can, okay. you can DM me later if yep. you want. Yeah, is there, does anybody, hello, homie, how's it going? Uh, we did a round of just check ins. Um, if you want to introduce yourself, share something that's inspired oh, you. Wow. Oh, okay. Hi. Uh, you know, I, I'm just here. I'm on my lunch break, so I can finally talk. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I think the most inspiring thing is just to see so many people just kind of work. I've learned a lot from a lot of other people. So I'm super inspired by just kind of seeing things like this. And uh, kind of learning a place. Yes. Right. That would be it. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Homie's been a big help at the uh, Research Guild um, at the end of this season. So if you're interested in checking out the Research Guild next season, um, there should be plenty of opportunities. And yeah, it's, it's fun. If anybody has any questions or anybody that hasn't given an introduction wants to give one, feel free to take the mic. Questions regarding what specifically? Um, uh, it also doesn't have to be a question. Um, if anybody has you know, is seeking help with something or if anybody wants to offer help with anything. Um, if you are interested in NFTs and you have a little spare time and you like learning, you know, a, a little bit about how NFTs are made, I'm sure uh, Mark would love to have you uh, 
join us in the uh, channel, I am going to drop in water cooler chat. Um, it's definitely um, a one of a kind project and everybody's learning how to develop, you know, as we go. Um, Blackfire was a big help the other day, just kind of ad hoc, you know, showed up. Anybody else has other projects that they're working on or, or you know? Is this a new project? Do what? Uh, is this a new one? Carbon collector on NFTs. We've, we've, been, we've been working on the yeah we've been working on the project for a few months now um but again i think the the key thing about it is that historically everybody has linked nfts to art so historically it was buy an nft you just get art and mm -hmm. i think the new wave of this is linking nft to a real world asset Ooh, okay. And so what we're doing is, you know, buy an NFT, you get digital rights to forestry, which includes carbon sequestration or carbon offsets, also for gaming and metaverse applications. But I think you're going to see a wave of people linking NFTs to all sorts of real world assets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, sounds cool. And I, I would like to give a shout out to, you know, Blackfire too, uh, who, you know, has some outside projects. Um, he's been, you know, he, looking for, you know, people that like auditing smart contracts and providing, you know, kind of security services. So if, if you are dev minded and, you know, want to, learn dev related things um you know maybe while you're participating in the dev guild uh he's a good resource and um eth builders has six meetups a week online um about various aspects of developing on eth And we also don't have to have a one hour vibe check. Um, but this is just a space to hang out, share. Super appreciate Jayberg's help in dilationship skill. You know, for anybody that is taking a long time to like observe things, I totally recommend hanging out in dilationships, especially if you like you know, learning about other DAOs or the DAO ecosystem in general. If you would like your guest pass renewed, please reply to, um, with an emoji, your favorite emoji to, uh, Asterius's kind offer here to refresh guest passes. Where do we do that, Ernest? Where do we respond? Water cooler chat. You'll see uh, she just posted, and I added my Craigbot emoji, which is my favorite. Oh, shit. Oh, and thanks for the shout out, Ernest. And just to let um, everybody know, Dalations is a really good spot to really get a pulse on what's going on in the Dow. I mean, even if you just want to know what's going on or just stay up to date on what's going on on all of the other projects, Dalations would be a good spot for that. And also, if you're already spending time in other communities, then that would also be a good spot for you because you can bring that over to Bankless Dow and uh, you know just input your expertise there.
Oh, I think um, uh, Kisera was saying that uh, she is only able to read the water cooler chat channel. Do I need to give a special tag or something for her to be able to type there? Um, she does. She have her guest pass. The other thing is, um, she may they may not have gone through the collab.landbot verification, and that keeps a lot of the bots or POAP farmers, you know, out of water cooler as opposed to, you know, if we, we'd have another like 50 people in here if we were in the amphitheater, because the amphitheater doesn't require you to verify your collab.landbot. So you just got to verify your MetaMask address, I think. Oh, and, and you do have to respond with a different emoji because you can only read so many people. Um, Like if everybody uses the Craigbot emoji, she may, like she can't see everybody who's clicked the emoji. Everyone's silent all of a sudden. Uh, who is that actually? I can hear some like Mandarin voice. Uh. The last person there is... Hey, Asturias, have we set a date for the new joiners call, or are we just going to do the dry run first and then just kind of touch base uh, after that? One last dry run uh, on Zoom, and uh, right now we have this lettuce meet to try to get uh, everyone's timing before we can set the dry run, and I hope more, more people can, can, can attend it. Uh, and then once uh, we finish the dry run, we'll see if there's anything else that needs to be fixed or, you know, just kind of uh, uh, finalize it before we can fix a date. Yeah, mm. so the date is also, I think, a, a bit of a question mark because of time zones. We're just wondering, you know, uh, which day, what time uh, should we set it on? Yeah, for sure. Um, I definitely need a dry run first. I just didn't know if we had anything like a ballpark date set. Uh, no, just uh, kind definitely, of uh, definitely the target is to get this uh, started, to get it rolled up by January 2022. Yeah, because we, we've been talking about this since like November 2021 and it's just been dragging on and on and on and on and on. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Okay. All right. Well, if nobody in particular um, wishes to share anything, um, I would motion to close the guest pass vibe check, unless there's any last hurrahs. Thank you all, by the way, for you know everyone's help. All in. good here. It's been a pleasure um, hanging out with all you guys. Yeah, it was a pleasure with you guys too. I I'm gonna just uh, continue to kiss Sarah because she's really interested to join us for our new joiners session, and I think she's like a, a Zoom expert. No, no, yeah. No, so we're gonna get her to to come on board because we're gonna hold the sessions uh, on Zoom, and uh, this dry run uh, is gonna be on Zoom. So the previous one was on Discord. Uh, so, yeah, I really hope that you go 
with uh with Kisara on board. Yeah. Well, we'll take it easy, everybody. Uh, thanks for asking, Ernest. Yeah, thank you so much for hosting this uh, vibe check. I'll be hopping yeah. in more. So, thank you, Ernest. Uh, with thank you, Ernest. <laughs>